Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna check out the Space Invaders quarter scale replica by Numskull. When you purchase a collectible item like this, you expect every detail to be perfect, and Numskull delivered, starting with the box. The artwork is perfect, so take your time opening it up. Don't be tearing into this like some little kid on Christmas morning. The cabinet itself is gorgeous, and the artwork is near indistinguishable from the original arcade machine. The Numskull version is modeled after the Japanese release of the arcade cabinet. The product comes in a few different variants. The one Numskull sent me for review is the coin edition. It comes with a really cool collectible coin. There's a version also signed by the creator, and one that comes with a mini stool, and a few other variants as well. I'll have a link to the website in the video description so you can check them all out. The control panel on it perfectly matches the original arcade machine, including everything down to the button's shape and color. The coin door is also a near-perfect replica of the original machine. This kind of attention to detail is really awesome to see in a product this small. It just goes to show the time and effort that went into making sure this paid full respect to the original game. Speaking of little details, the original had these metal brackets on top of the cabinet and they even included those too. The front bezel of the machine looks awesome, but what shocked me the most was the fact that they completely replicated the depth effect of the original arcade machine. It's referred to as the Pepper's Ghost Effect. Let's take a closer look because this is going to blow your mind. All right, guys, check this out. So as you go down in here, you can see behind the bezel, they actually mounted the LCD panel at the bottom. And when I move the camera like this, you'll see you can completely see the depth effect there. Now the moon there or the planet, that's actually a piece of acrylic in the original arcade machine. And then the thing behind it that kind of looks like space that's actually just a piece of cardboard on the original machine. And then there's also behind the planet on the original machine, there is a black light. And they even replicated that too. If you look up, you can see the black light right there. So, I mean, they really, really did a good job with this. It completely looks like the arcade machine, like the real arcade machine. So, you know, I know this product is not cheap, but they also didn't cut any corners to try to replicate the original experience. Let's do a quick comparison to my original machine. So when you take off the back panel, you can see this piece, it, the piece that looks like space is just simply a piece of cardboard. And then you can see down there, that's the acrylic moon. And then behind it, this one actually doesn't have the right bulb. That's actually a normal fluorescent tube, but it would be a black light tube. And then if you pay attention closely, the moon is reflecting off a mirrored surface and the CRT is actually mounted at the bottom, just like they did on the Numskull with an LCD. So it's really clever that they did this. And if you've seen the original, like you have a major appreciation if you're an arcade nerd for them going the extra mile. Before we get into some quick gameplay, I wanted to mention upon boot up, if you hold player one and player two buttons, you get a set of dip switch settings. Some of these are new, I believe, as I don't remember all of these being available on the original machine. Here's a quick look at the settings that you can adjust. All right, let's check out some quick gameplay. I'm playing behind a camera, so I'm not gonna be very good, but I will let you know, the gameplay is awesome because they're using the original arcade ROM, so they're not um, you know, using like a you know, like a console ROM or anything like that. So if you're used to playing the real game, it's gonna look and feel exactly the way you expect it to, the sounds, uh, everything about it. And the other thing that's cool is the controls use micro switches, so they're gonna feel, you know, kind of get that tactile feel to you, and it'll make it feel, you know, authentic. So they really did a good job just recreating the overall experience of the game. Now, I was born in 1979, and Space Invaders came out in, I think, 78. So I wouldn't even have been born when this game came out. I have a deep appreciation for it because it definitely created an entire genre of games uh, but you know like I said I didn't grow up with it but anyways it's it's really fun if, you, if you're someone that's an arcade nerd this would be a really cool gift item or something like that or even just something to add to your collection if you like collecting these you know smaller arcade games I'm totally screwed by the way well maybe not let's see let oh man I wasn't even paying attention to this row right here oh <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the quick gameplay. 
Uh, I'll wrap things up and then uh, give you some final thoughts. I gotta say, I was really impressed at how well they recreated this Space Invaders cabinet. Every detail is covered and it's just awesome seeing a company give these iconic games from the past the proper treatment they deserve. After all, these games started it all, so seeing them live on in any form for a new generation to enjoy is simply awesome. If you're interested in this product, I will have all the links in the video description. Thanks again to Numskull for sending this out to me. I really appreciate the support. Be on the lookout for more awesome Numskull recreations coming soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and we will see you on the next one.